Hello, I'm Chantal Mathieu. I'm an endocrinologist in the University Hospital Gasthuisberg in Leuven, Belgium. And I'm a professor of medicine in the University of Leuven, also in Belgium. Once Weekly Insulin is, is really all about uh, introducing a tool that can reduce the burden for those uh, living with diabetes and needing a basal insulin. We know, for instance, from um, uh, use of GLP-1 receptor agonists, that when we had the opportunity to move from once daily uh, administration of uh, uh, GLP-1 RA to once weekly uh, GLP-1 RA, this really improved adherence and also lowered the barrier uh, for people to move to these uh, agents. So we hope uh, and it is also what we see when um, uh, doing um, questionnaires with people uh, uh, living with diabetes. We hope that having the opportunity of introducing basal insulin in a once weekly uh, manner, that it will lower the threshold for people to accept basal insulin when they need it and thus improve clinical inertia. Reduction of, of the number of injections is really different uh, for different people. If, if you're talking about individuals who just need uh, a basal insulin, people with type 2 diabetes, for instance, they will go from uh, seven injections a week to one injection a week. On the other hand, individuals who already are on multiple daily injections, so mealtime insulin and then a basal insulin per day, they will move from uh, 28 injections a week to 22 injections a week. So it is different from person to person. But we do know from um, uh, studies with other medications, for instance, GLP-1 receptor agonists, but also medications used in the treatment of osteoporosis, for instance, that when you can move from a daily administration to a weekly administration, this improves adherence, but this also lowers the barrier to uh, adopting uh, the treatment. So we hope it will help us um, really overcome clinical inertia at this crucial moment of therapy, namely when a basal insulin is needed, in particular in people with type 2 diabetes. So there are different uh, uh, basal insulins that can be administered once weekly uh, in development, but indeed the two that are most advanced are ICODEC and uh, BIF. The um, half-life of these two products is such that a once weekly administration will allow the buildup of a very stable plateau of uh, insulin on board. And in my eyes, but that's personal opinion, it will be mainly those living with type 2 diabetes that will have the biggest benefit of these uh, once weekly basal insulins. The uh, program of uh, ICODEC, the onwards program, the phase three program is um, uh, well advanced with uh, several studies uh, already reporting uh, top line uh, results. And Again, we have to be cautious because they have not been uh, uh, all peer reviewed. Some of them have been presented at uh, conferences. But overall, what we see with uh, ICODEC in the onwards program is a similar lowering of uh, hemoglobin A1C compared to uh, a, a daily uh, basal insulin and that throughout different profiles of uh, uh, people with type 2 diabetes without an increased risk of hypoglycemia, because that is what we uh, feared if you give a, a once weekly uh, basal insulin. But so it looks quite uh, interesting. And in some studies, there are even hints of lower rates of hypoglycemia, probably due to the very stable uh, profile that this uh, ICODEC brings. The uh, development program uh, of um, BIF is a little less advanced. There we just have uh, phase two uh, studies uh, that have uh, reported, and again, uh, similar data, equal or even a little better uh, hemoglobin A1C lowering, but no increased risk of uh, hypoglycemia. Now, uh, also the phase three program for BIF has started. It's called QUINT. 
Uh, and I want just to finish by saying that each of them also have data now just in one uh, study in people with type 1 diabetes. Uh, the um, BIF data have just been reported at uh, ESD. We also know uh, from the ONWARDS program, the uh, ICODEC data, and there, um, again, hemoglobin A1C quite comparable when once weekly ICODEC was used versus a, a, a one's daily basal insulin in people with type 1 diabetes on uh, MDI. But, and again, top line results, not peer reviewed yet, but indicating a slightly higher risk of uh, hypoglycemia. But we have to look at the details. When looking at um, how uh, people react when you offer them to participate in a trial, for instance, with a once weekly uh, insulin, like we did in the Onwards 4 program, uh, it, people um, react, oh, yes, reduction of burden. And when you interview them again, when they are a couple of weeks on the once weekly uh, basal insulin and does have this uh, reduction of number of injections uh, over the week, they confirm this. It is indeed all about reducing the burden. So um, to me, it will change the way we introduce uh, basal insulin in people with type 2 diabetes. I think it will become the therapy of choice because it's just, you know, it's less burden for people. It will lower the threshold to move to basal insulin and overall uh, people appreciate it.